This video will demonstrate aseptic technique in a community setting. These principles can be applied in a variety of settings. Aseptic technique is the practice of carrying out a procedure to minimise the risk of contamination and possible infection. Great. How are you today? Oh, I'm fine today. Oh, Thank you. good. Can I just shut your window? Is that okay? Yes, I think so. Where possible, soap and water should be used to decontaminate hands prior to and after the procedure. Hand sanitizer can be used in between. The six step technique should be used. Prior to undertaking aseptic technique, a risk assessment of the environment needs to be undertaken. This should include closing any windows or turning fans off to minimise airflow. Also move any items to provide space for the procedure and ask for any pets to be kept out of the room during the procedure. Hand sanitizer is used in between processes using the six steps technique. Once the environment is prepared, ensure all the equipment is to hand. Gloves and apron are worn when undertaking decontamination procedures to protect the wearer's skin and to prevent cross-contamination. This may be an appropriate time to remove the dressing and carry out your own assessment of the patient's wound and consider any additional equipment you may require such as wound swab kit or single use sterile scissors. When in contact with body fluids ensure gloves and apron are worn. Ensure the used dressing is disposed of via the appropriate waste stream. The use of disinfectant wipes may damage the patient's furniture, therefore an alternative is to use the lid of a box to act as a barrier underneath the sterile field. Following cleaning of equipment, PPE is disposed of in the appropriate waste stream. Gloves are removed first so the wearer's uniform is not contaminated when removing the apron. All packaging should be checked for integrity, dryness and expiry date. Ensure when opening the sterile pack only the underneath or corners of the pack are touched. A plastic apron is worn to prevent cross-contamination. If required, the waste bag is sterile in the pack and this can be used to rearrange items within the sterile field.
If aseptic technique is not used or performed incorrectly, then the patient could develop an infection, which may lead to long-term consequences and even death of the patient. Ensure the package of the solution used is decontaminated and allow 30 seconds to dry prior to opening. Aseptic technique should be used for surgical wounds during the first 48 hours unless the wound is oozing. Dressing changes following a risk assessment of the wound, for example deep wounds. Urine recatheterization. Insertion of a venous cannula. Insertion of an enteral feeding tube. And when caring for a pick or Hickman line. Ensure when applying sterile gloves, sterility is maintained. Clean the wound using a clean to dirty hand technique. This ensures only uncontaminated equipment comes into contact with the wound. Clean the wound starting from the cleanest area using one swipe. Dispose of all waste into the appropriate waste stream. Aseptic technique when undertaken correctly is a procedure that contributes towards preventing healthcare associated infections. Right, thank you very much Mrs Bate, we'll see you next Wednesday. Yes, alright. Okay. <laughs> see you soon, take care. Thank you for watching.